Let's look at an application, a very simple one, that's about to need a new requirement. Here we have a very simple web page, a list of people who own automobiles. With this application so far, we can add a new automobile owner. In this case, we'll add Dan Sullivan as an automobile owner. And once that person is added, we can click them to edit their information. So we can change their information and save it back down into our database. The developer for this application is about to receive a visit from his customer. Hey Dave. Hey, what's up, Bill? Not much. Hey, I was hoping to talk to you about that car owner list feature in the automobile owner site. Um, yeah, what about it? Well, you know how I told you that I never wanted to, to delete a person from that list? Right, and I mentioned that, you know, probably you would. Yeah, but... it kind of turns out that I do want to delete somebody. <laughs> okay, change of plans, no problem. Yeah, it turns out there are people in the database that we know aren't actually real. Huh. All right, well, it sounds like a new requirement. Uh, okay, I, I just want to delete the people from the list. Well, all right, sometimes the best way to figure out what we want it to do is to look at the software. So, you mind pulling up that web page so we can look at it together? No, I have it right here. All right, so there are two places that might make sense for the deletion to occur. We could delete people from the list page itself where everybody's listing, or when you click on them, you go to the edit page, we could add a delete button to that page. Yeah, the edit page makes more sense to me. All right, what is the person who's viewing the edit page, when they click the delete button, what are they going to see after that? Well, how about if we just go back up to the list? Hey, that works. So here's what I think you're saying. Given that you're editing an automobile owner, when you delete that automobile owner, then the main owner list is shown. Yeah, yeah that's exactly right. Okay, great. Uh, what if you're trying to delete a person that isn't actually there? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, it's a web application, right? And that means that multiple people can be accessing it at the same time. What if you open up the edit page, and while you're looking at it, someone else deletes the owner that you're editing. Then you click the delete page. Yeah, hmm. I don't know. I just want the person to be deleted. As long as they're deleted, why don't you just take me back to the list? So what about an error message? Would you no, no error messages. They're confusing. Okay, so what I'm hearing you say is, given that you're editing an automobile owner and that person has already gone from the database, when you click delete, then the main list page is shown again. That's exactly what I want. You got it.